The Internet of Things revolution is here. From coffee pots to toasters, getting data and controlling devices remotely is easier than ever before. We hope you'll join SparkFun in exploring this brave new world where the physical and the digital become one. Welcome to the Fellowship of the Things. Welcome back to the second episode of Fellowship of the Things. As you can see, we've put some more pieces of furniture in the apartment, and we've already built our second project. A popular part of IoT is data streaming, and that's basically where you push sensor data to an online data warehouse site, such as data.sparkfun. This sensor data can be taken at constant time intervals or when triggered by a change of some kind. This sort of thing is great for data collection and being able to view that data remotely. This can have all sorts of benefits for monitoring systems and watching for long-term trends. In a previous video, we made a demo project that consisted of a dog treat dispenser so that whenever a dog stepped on a pressure plate, it used a servo to give out some treats. But we took that and we updated it a little. We built a dog house that has a built-in scale as well as a treat dispenser so that when a dog enters, it'll take their weight, give them a treat, and post their weight to data.sparkfun. I'm calling it wait for treat. Like W E I G. Okay, I got really it. Funny. I got it. Sorry. It's really hey, funny. Thanks. It's funny. Anyway, we both worked on this, and luckily we got some footage of it, which means that we can take that montage. Fine, we can do a montage. The dog house I built really simple, just two by fours and some plywood. Hey, Sarah? Yes. This this dog house stinks. There's no roof. I didn't the put on a rain. roof for filming purposes. The it's rain not a real. Into... It's, it's not a real dog house. On the inside, I hacked a scale. I put that in between two boards. I hooked it up to our load sensor combinator and our load cell amplifier, and that hooks right up into the photon. For this, we use the Photon, which comes with a built-in Wi-Fi radio, which gives us the ability to post information to data.sparkfun. I also used the OLED screen, which we use to display the weight of the dog that's inside the doghouse, and two of the proto shields that I've used to connect the other electronics. This includes the HX711 load cell amplifier board, and a servo, which controls the actuator in the treat dispenser to give us some treats. Now, when a dog enters the doghouse, it triggers the plate, anything over a pound causes a treat to be dispensed. The photon then waits for two seconds, makes sure that the dog is still there by looking at the weight, takes the weight of that dog and then posts it out to data.sparkfun. To calibrate the sensor, we first need to upload a different program to the photon. Then we apply a known weight to the scale. In this case, Sara can put on a 10 pound dumbbell, which we've weighed on another scale and it came out to be 9.8 pounds. Then, we load up this program, and in a serial terminal, we hit A or Z to adjust this magic calibration factor number so that it then reads 9.8 pounds. That separate calibration number, we plug into our Wait for Treats program, and then with that, we get accurate weight readings. Let's go find us some dogs. dog in those trees ever. So that's our project. You might not think it's the most practical, but you could use this to measure one dog's weight over time. Or if you had multiple dogs, you might use an RFID scanner to tell them apart and measure both of their weights over time. Or you could just have it measure their weight, and if they're over a certain weight, 
not give them treats. And those are just a couple of ways to make this project a little bit more practical. And outside of this project, you could use this technology to get the weight of something that you can't just say, put on a scale. For example, a beehive. Luckily, there's somebody here who has done just that. We're standing outside of SparkFun headquarters and I've got Nate Seidel and Pontus Jacobson here. Nate, can you tell us a little bit about this project? Sure. So this is the beehive that we've got hooked up to our data channel called data.sparkfun.com and we are using a hacked bathroom scale, also known as a load scale, to read the weight of the hive and report that back over Wi-Fi about every 60 seconds. So what made you decide to do this? I've always wanted to see the weight of the hive kind of change over time, um, and it's kind of neat. If you look at the graph uh, online, you can see when the bees leave in the morning and kind of how they grow over time. It tells you things like uh, the number of bees and how they've multiplied. It tells you how much wax and how much pollen they're taking into the hive, and of course, how much honey they're producing. Nice. Do you see this being used by professional beekeepers? Would they care to have this kind of information? You know, I'm sort of a data geek, so this was uh, a special project. Uh, talking to Pontus, it's probably likely to be used on one hive in a cluster of hives, not necessarily every single hive. But uh, yeah, there's some good data that can be found. Cool. Well, that wraps up our second episode. We'd love to hear what you think. What kind of projects do you have that uses data logging? Or what kind of projects would you like to see in this series in the future? Feel free to post all of those in the comments below. Thanks for watching.